it's a spoken word piece uh, called Conversation. Um, and it's, a, it's essentially going through the idea of um, not just, I guess, not just race relations, but anyone who is an other, yeah. you know, but it does speak a lot about, you know, um, police in the community um, and how they are uh, reacting to certain people and uh, essentially just coming together uh, as different people and having and having that conversation uh, and talking it out. Uh, because part of this whole thing is America never ha really had a reckoning. Um, it's always been, let's kind of sweep it under the rug and, you know, pat that rug down and hope no one trips over the bump that's there. And, you know, you might trip, but don't dare pick up that rug and peek under there because, you know, you're afraid of what you're going to see. Look, it's an ugly history, uh, but it, it did create this country. Um, and I love this country, you know. Um, I don't agree with all the ways that people are treated, but, you know, we're here. I think it's fantastic. And, I, and this is... This had to be a catalyst to really get people talking, then so be it. People are talking, um, and that's a starting point. Um, so uh, I digressed a bit. Um, so the strange thing about this is this is a re-release. Um, I just put out an album called Here to Help the People earlier this year. That video was recorded back in 2018, and I believe that I originally wrote it back around 2016 and 2017. Um, and in this whole time, it's still been relevant. There's always been something else that comes up to where like, oh, this is relevant. Here. This is relevant. Um, so putting this out now and um, having people check it out, I guess it's kind of it's great that it's getting out there and it's, you know, some, you know, some people are noticing it and, you know, sharing. But the fact that it was originally done two years ago and it's still just as relevant is a bit uh, concerning. <laughs> it, it is right there. We, we we keep saying their names, which is so important. And it the list just keeps adding, right? Yeah. And and today would have been Rihanna's birthday, right? And we're yeah. not even talking nearly enough about all the women, right? What about right. the black women, the black trans women, trans men? There are so many, you know, it's, it's like there's this, the layers of just how awful and the systemic racism in this country mm -hmm. and around the world. It's incredible to see all the protesters happening, you know, throughout these other countries. Um, would Would you like to share the piece with us now? Uh, yeah, sure, I could do that. Uh, okay, so um, this is called um, conversation, just simply conversation. Um, we need a conversation, maybe, that's the wrong word, but I have to believe words can unite a nation designed for the enslavement of not just minorities, but the weak-minded, horizontal worldviews with steep hatred. And that's what he see greatness? By writing that defined dividing line, which might be fine to you depending on who had the line contrived, and I don't need life to be fair. I just need your open mind and eyes. See, we don't have a problem with police. If you remove his badge and put him in a judge's robe, he's the law. Or if he's a loan manager at your bank, you ain't getting that house or car. What we have is a lesson in perception, but with weapons. See, this isn't blue versus black, some mutually exclusive either or, and therefore no need to even some perceived score. No, listen, if I'm cut down and you remain silent, and she's cut down and you're a different and blind, then your turn comes and you look to your sides, but all the voices are gone because you wouldn't stand alongside them. And that's a shame. See, when you were pointing that finger to blame, there were three pointed back at you, proven the same. This is truly insane. For generations, my people have marched, sang and protested against the same mess and were seeing the same deaths, displaying the same courage in the face of the same murders as if nobody heard them since Plessy versus Ferguson. I'm truly fed up. And since it won't let up, I'll open a dialogue with anyone willing to try a talk so I can learn from your experience and you can learn from ours by and large. In a sense, nobody's innocent, but I'm eager to learn and decrease my own ignorance. So you can stand there with your arms crossed, a tight lipped pawn in their game, or we can write our own rules, give each other a fair shake, 
open communication to hear just what they are saying. You're not seeing your real enemy plotting this checkmate and how your anger is misplaced. Now's the time. After we're galvanized, actions speak louder than hashtags can in our lives matter. Whew. Thank you for that. Thank you.